Hi everyone, this video will show you how to use the Pathfinder tools in Adobe Illustrator. You'll need to have this worksheet open to follow along. So to use the Pathfinders, you'll have to go to Window and then select Pathfinder. And this is the box that we'll be using today. So we'll just have it somewhere handy. Let's start off with this Unite shape here. So we want to unite these shapes together. Using the selection tool, click, hold and drag to select the shapes. Then in shape modes, choose unite and see that those shapes unite together. Now let's try the minus front. Click, hold and drag to select those shapes and choose minus front. You can see that front shape has been minused out. Now let's have a look at intersect. It has just that center shape remaining. Let's try exclude. It removes the center part but keeps these two side shapes. Now let's try this part. Click, hold and drag and choose divide. Now it doesn't look like anything has happened but if you go over to the direct selection tool here and select it, We'll be able to click, hold and drag and see that these shapes have divided apart. Now let's try trim. So have the selection tool selected, click, hold and drag, select both and choose trim. So with the direct selection tool, let's click on this shape and we'll move it away. Now let's try merge. Using the direct selection tool, you can see that it does a similar thing to what trim does. Let's have a look at crop. It crops out everything but the center part here. And with outline, we can see that it has just the outlines of the shapes and minus back, minuses the back shape away, so we just have the front shape. Now it's your turn to try it in these parts down here. Using the shape tools, you can create a rectangle, start off with the back one first, make it a square and rotate it for the top of the roof for this house, hold down shift, just make it a little smaller, back with the rectangle tool to make the chimney, and with the direct selection tool, let's select over it all, and then choose merge. It's merged it together all as one shape. Now let's try exclude. So with the ellipse tool, start with this back shape, Hold down Option and Shift to draw a perfect circle from the center. Do it again. And once more with the Direct Select tool. Highlight over both of the shapes and choose Exclude. And we can see it's removed just these center parts. Let's try Minus Front. So we'll draw an ellipse first. Holding down Option and Shift to draw a circle from the center. Use the Polygon tool to click, hold and drag. Use the arrow keys to increase the amount of sides we need. Hold down Shift if you want to snap it to a horizontal plane. And let's just move this shape. Reduce the sides of it. Use the selection tool, highlight over both, and choose minus front. We've got a Pac-Man like shape. Now let's use divide. So I'm going to zoom in, command plus. We'll make the circle first from the center. 
I'm going to just swap the stroke and fill on this one so we can see the center of the circle. So over in here, just click this two edged arrow. And we can see that the fill has been swapped to be on the stroke. Then with the line segment tool, we can click, hold and drag and make multiple lines. Holding down shift will make perfect straight, horizontal, vertical or 45 degree angle lines. So. Alright, we're just going to select with the black pointer tool the circle and just swap the fill over again and then select over all of these shapes and choose divide. Then with the direct selection tool, you can click and we've made little pizzas. So this one's happened like this because that divide line didn't go right up to the edge. So it's just done it as best that it can. And that is how you use the Pathfinder tool in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.